Hello everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Okay, so if you do not know this, Jennifer L. Armentrout is one of my favorite authors out there. Like, she's definitely in the top three. She writes so many books, like no joke. Jennifer actually has three or four books coming out just this year. Just this 12 month time span. Like, how does somebody write that much in just a year and then get it out the next year? Like, I'm just shocked. Like, that is so amazing. Like, good for you, Jennifer. You're awesome. Why can't other authors do that? Cassandra Clare. <clears throat> Two years, I've been waiting two years. So when I saw that White Hot Kiss was being released in February, I was so excited because it is such an interesting twist on young adult fiction. This book is about gargoyles. Like, how freaking cool is that? And do not think about the actual gargoyles sitting on top of creepy monasteries and chapels and churches and whatnot. No, these gargoyles are badass types. They're so cool and they fight demons and they're not like stone stone. They're they're like sleek stone like granite and they're really awesome and they have wings and they're just so cool. Honestly, I was a little bit hesitant when it came to gargoyles and whatnot, but honestly, this book was so amazing. Also, this is a spoiler free review, so do not worry if you have not read the book, you're not going to be spoiled in this. Also, the summary to White Hot Kiss will be in the description box below so you can go check that out. Okay, so I was judged so hard when I was reading this book on the train. Like the ticket guy comes over to take my ticket and then all of a sudden he's like, White Hot Kiss? Would your parents be wanting you to read this? Like, oh my gosh. And he was being joking, but like still, I'm like, dude, get the hell away. Let me read. This this is my time. Not shut up. Mundanes. Anyway, so that's my little story. Nobody's gonna judge my books. Nobody. I don't get offended. They're good books. I'm going to read them if I want to. So whenever I go into a Jennifer L. Armentrout book, I'm always expecting such amazing stories. And that's definitely what I got from White Hot Kiss. Do not let the title fool you. This book is so badass and awesome and freaking fantastic. And it also has a romance in it, which is always amazing. I actually really like Jennifer L. Armentrout's romances because they're not teeny bopperish. They are mature, but they're not too mature that it would be taken out of the young adult genre. It is a borderline young adult genre and new adult genre and I love that about it because who does not want a little bit of sexy romance in a book but also an amazing compelling storyline. I know I love that. So Layla is the main character in the story and she is half warden half demon. A warden is a gargoyle. So Layla is very different from all the other wardens and demons out there because she is extremely rare. There's no half breeds out there only Layla. So Layla she's very very rare because a warden and a demon don't make babies. They actually hate each each other. Wardens actually protect the human world from demons and they fight them at night and it's really awesome because this whole nerd storyline's kind of based off of how Layla is so rare and how two different sides of this whole entire war against heaven and hell can come together and help fight a greater evil. Oh my gosh, this story had such intense plot twists, like so crazy plot twists that you would never guess and I was like, <gasps> no freaking way! Gosh, I love the plot twists in this. They were just so fantastic. Like I'm fangirling so hard for this book. It's not even funny. And I really need somebody who has read this book to fangirl with me. So that's why I'm talking to this camera and telling you guys my review on it because I need to talk about it with somebody. But a spoiler free version. I think a cool part in this book is how Layla, her kiss, will suck out the soul of anybody with a soul. But luckily, Roth, who is a demon, has no soul. So Roth is a demon and Zane is a warden. Zane has been raised with Layla, but Zane is a few years older than her. And Zane technically looks at Layla as a younger sister. Or is that what it really is? But then there's Roth, the sexy demon, and he is amazing. I love the romance that sort of blossoms between Layla and him. I really ship them together so hard. And that's what made the ending of this book so, so, uh! So Layla actually lives with the wardens because her mom and dad are out of the picture. And she was actually found in a foster home when she was seven because she accidentally sucked out the soul, almost all the soul, out of her foster mom. And that's not good. You're not supposed to suck out souls. That's a very bad demon thing to do. So that's what the wardens tell her not to do. And she's been growing up thinking that that's a really bad thing, which it is. You do not want to suck out the soul of somebody. That's just no. Bad, bad, bad demon. But it's really interesting seeing the storyline of Layla sort of evolve and transform through the course of this novel. And I really like how Roth helped her uncover the secrets of her past, her future, and her present. And he is such an amazing character. I love Roth so much. Okay, if you have read Jennifer L. Armitage 
Scott's previous books that include Half-Blood series, the Covenant series, or um, the Lux series, you're going to love what I'm about to say. Okay, so take Seth and his cockiness, not the bad things about him, but like his sarcasticness, and then take Damon and put them together. There's Rob. He's like the perfect mix of her characters. Ah! I love it so much. Like the snarky remarks in this book, like Jennifer L. Armentrout is probably known for her snarky remarks in the books and I love it so much. I love how um, the two main characters, they just go back and forth, back and forth, these clever lines. And it's just so amazing to see because it's so, so cute. And I ship Roth and Layla so hard. I really felt bad for Layla that she was raised to believe her demon half was really bad, which she shouldn't be raised to believe that half of her was not okay. What does that do for your self-esteem? Nothing. And I really love how Roth helped her come to terms with that side of her and showed her that that side is not bad and she shouldn't be ashamed of it. One of the things that were really interesting about this book is that the the mystical creatures in this book were actually known to the humans. Well, not the demons. The demons are kept secret. But the wardens, the gargoyles, are came out actually 10 years before saying, oh, we're here on this planet. And they're segregated against, but not horribly all around. People accept them, but then some people really hate them. And it's really interesting seeing that dynamic play out in the book because I was quite curious as to why people would be like, hmm. I don't like the wardens. It's like they save you. you. They just can't tell you that they save you from demons daily like you idiot selfish brats. I can say definitely that I've never hated any of Jennifer L. Armitage's books. I don't think I've ever given one of them a below a four out of five stars on Goodreads. They're just so good, guys. So if you like Jennifer L. Armitage already, please go read Hot White Hot Kiss because it's so good. So, so, so good. If you have any hesitation reading about gargoyles, do not worry. They're not really gargoyle gargoyles. They're like cool gargoyles. And the demons are so, so badass, especially raw. Oh my gosh. Guys, the ending of this book was like, oh my god. Bye! Bye, cliffhangers! Like, cliffhangers so much. <laughs> it was really difficult, guys. Like, I was, like, I felt pain in my heart. And it was really not alright. I really was not prepared for that. It's the first book. You're not supposed to feel this many feels in the first book. I really, really like Layla's character. She is a fictional character that does not annoy you whatsoever. She is awesome. Sometimes she got a little bit like, are you serious, girl? Are you serious? But overall, I really, really enjoyed Layla's character and I felt for her. I feel bad for her that she's like she's caught in the middle of this war between a good and an evil, but which side is actually the evil one? Because once she meets Roth, her whole world gets turned upside down and what she was taught to believe is really just sucked away from her. So you know when you feel really empowered by a book? I love that feeling. Like you're like, yeah, let's go kill some demons. Oh wait, there are no demons. This is reality, Sasha. But you know that feeling? Well, I felt this feeling so many times in that book. Oh my gosh, this is just such a freaking good book. It makes you feel things, awesome things, and emotionally turmoil things. Who doesn't love some of that? <laughs> I like torturing myself the feels. So the summary of this book kind of sets everything up seeming like Zayn and Roth go head to head to win the love of Layla, but that's really not true. It's really um, the romance takes a kind of backseat in this novel and it's really about Layla uncovering the truth about herself and I really like that about this book. But I also had fun playing with teams. I'm like, okay, am I team Zayn or am I team Roth? Team Roth, all the way. I'm just saying that. I'm team Roth. Roth, 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 demon. But I like Zane. I definitely like Zane, but mostly as her friend. I do not like him as romantic interests, and I don't think that would technically work out because he has a soul, and if she kissed him, she would suck out his soul, so that wouldn't end well. For right now, I'm team Roth all the way. I just love Roth so much, and I love how he kind of broke down his barriers between trusting people throughout this book, and it was really amazing seeing that happen. It was really cool seeing a book like this with gargoyles and demons and devils, and it was really cool seeing it come together because I have honestly never read a book like this in my whole entire reading life. Yeah, so as you can guess, I really, really like this book, and I think that all you guys will too. I just, this book is fantastic. It truly is fantastic, and and I loved it just so much. Anyways, guys, I absolutely adored this book and you will too. I promise you that. And if you have read White Hot Kiss, please fangirl with me in the comments below. Try to keep it spoiler free, but if there is a spoiler that you want to put down there, please put like in huge letters, spoiler alert. And then we can fangirl over it because I don't want to spoil anybody. But this book was amazing with so many plot twists, awesome action filled scenes and just more plot twist and more romance and more awesomeness and more gargoyles and so much more fun stuff. And you guys just need to read this book. Please go read it. It's fantastic. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.